at infinity it is uh, uh, tending to 0 at under root 5 by 3 into a it reaches a peak. That is how the graph looks, but how do I know that it is not 0 here because that is not 0 there. See you see the net charge 8 q by uh, 4 pi epsilon naught 3 a minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught a that is net positive it is not 0. Therefore, this is how the graph looks like. Now, I found the two equilibrium positions fine that is uh, once I project a body towards this. Now, I can take potential here 0, I can calculate potential here some potential, I can take potential difference and multiply by charge and equate it to half mb square. Is that the least speed by which I should project at infinity? Except student graph to separately. Now, you are in a village on this side, uh, there is a hill and you have to go to an elevated place fine, but you have to cross the hill. So, what energy that you should spend is first to cross the hill and then you have to reach there. It is not sufficient from here to the final hill whose height is h, mgh is not half mb squared, that is not uh, sufficient for you to go there. So, in between there is a potential hill, unless you cross this you cannot come here. The potential here is 0, here is positive, you are projecting a positive charge, therefore, that should cross this particular potential peak. Once it crosses potential peak, it will go to the horizon. So, you should calculate potential at that point, potential at infinity calculate potential difference, multiply by the charge that you are projecting, equate that with half mb square, then you can calculate the least velocity by which it can be observed later at origin. Least velocity, if it is less than that, it will go back. If it is more than that, it will be observed in any case. That is the problem. Do you understand the beauty of it? Come on, what next? Hmm? 14. 22. Look at 22. An electron moves from positive to negative terminal of a battery, 9 volt. How much potential energy did it gain or lose? Now, remember, whenever a positive charge goes from negative to positive terminal of a battery, not a negative to positive terminal in general of a battery if a positive charge goes it supplies energy. If it is an electron which is going you should give energy. Now, this is how current is delivered by a cell am I correct that is the direction in which current is delivered by a cell. Now, energy is supplied by the cell when you send charge in this direction you should supply energy that is called charging of a battery. Sending a positive charge in that direction means sending a negative charge from negative terminal 